One person was killed and seven were sent to the hospital during an Easter afternoon shooting in North Nashville. Good evening and welcome to News to Attend. I'm Kenley Hargett. Police are currently looking for this suspect, 46 year old Anton Rucker, the man who was killed has been identified as 33 year old Alan Beecham. News 2's Nikki McGee joins us live on Garfield Street with what we know tonight. Nikki. Well, Kinley, I can tell you Metro Police say this all unfolded here at the Rooted Coffee Shop here in Salem Town. And neighbors tell me this is a very popular spot in the neighborhood. Often they see lines out the door and especially today on Easter. Now tonight, some tell me they're going to bed on edge thinking about the gunfire they heard this afternoon. A peaceful Easter weekend turned into chaos for the Salem Town community. One neighbor remembers sitting on her porch following a hike when gunfire erupted. Within that five minute span, um, I hear like 10, 20 shots and then like 30 people come running out screaming all different directions. In a cafe full of people hoping to enjoy Easter brunch, police say an altercation turned deadly. Some watched in fear as the aftermath unfolded. I try to get back inside. As I'm inside, I'm looking out the window. I see the guy with the gun run around the corner. Um, I assume he drove off or something, but called the police. Police spent Sunday evening searching for the Mercedes SUV. They say the gunman pulled away in. They also worked to uncover a motive. We have officers with victims at at least three hospitals interviewing them to see what they exactly saw. But initially, it could be something as simple as one person invading another person's space. Police say what started as an altercation between two men ultimately led to eight people transported to the hospital. They say that included one man who died and a pregnant woman who began having a panic attack. So obviously from the video, everyone's trying to get out and trying to escape the gunfire. Uh, some people did try to resist the gun, the gunman. Uh, so it's just mass chaos. But just heartbreaking. I mean, it's a holiday that's supposed to be about family and about peace and about taking care of each other. And here we are, you know, dealing with another situation of, of senseless gun violence. As some go to bed on edge in a neighborhood they always felt safe in, images from this Easter tragedy stick with them. Since it was Easter, I saw like lots of families and kids coming out of there as well. So um, definitely scary there. Now, Metro Police say they do have very clear surveillance footage of this incident unfolding. And again, tonight, if you have any information on Rucker or his whereabouts, you're asked to call Nashville Crime Stoppers right away. Their number 615-74-CRIME. Reporting live in Salem Town, Nikki McGee, News 2. Thank you so much, Nikki. We spoke to a woman who was inside the coffee shop during the shooting who asked to remain anonymous due to safety concerns. In her words, she describes the moment the suspect took out his gun and began shooting. Before you knew it, we instantly knew that like something was going on because they were arguing each other back and forth. And the guy literally pulled the gun out of his pocket. Um, he did have it on safety because he didn't have to take it off. And he just instantly just started shooting. He was kind of falling back and then just began to um, attempt to shoot at the guy he was arguing with, but ended up hitting everyone else. Everybody was screaming. People had their children in there. Uh, my grandbaby was in there. My unborn grandchild um, was there as well. I mean, it was just ridiculous. Like everyone was screaming, falling to the floor. Everybody just dispersed everywhere. Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell made a statement about the shooting on social media. It read, quote, tragically, Easter was disrupted by gun violence in my neighborhood at one of our wonderful small businesses. It goes on to say, quote, my heart goes out to those who had their holiday disrupted by gun violence.